Paul Gaman, one of the best heavyweights in the world, the former UFC interim heavyweight champion, Cyril Gaon. Gotta think eventually this man is gonna find himself back in an undisputed UFC title fight. There were a lot of people going into his main event in Paris against Sergey Spivak that felt like Spivak was gonna take him down, out-wrestle him, out-grapple him. That did not happen at all. And the big question on Cyril Gaon was whether or not he would develop the appetite for mixed martial arts wrestling in training. The answer unequivocally is yes. Cyril Gaon figures to present his absolute best version here tonight. now just misses. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Oh, looked like he got tagged a couple times there up top. Just touching him with the jab. Oh, he's not wasting any time. Those thudding leg kicks just continue to land. I'm not sure how many of those the boxer's gonna be able to take. Well, boxers in both of their names. You got the kickboxer versus the boxer, but the kick is ultimately what shows itself early. He has more weapons. He's got to use each and every one of them. Counters now with a kick to the body. That one landed by God. Hook, that'll land. Hands on this plate. Another punch lands. Hands up. He looked for that knee. Oh, another brutal jab. If you like boxing and you appreciate the sweet science, his jab is as good as it gets. Yeah, he's the best pure boxer in MMA. He's one of those guys that if he needed to go into a boxing arena, he could still be competitive. And it all starts behind that beautiful jab. Pretty strong jab there by Seattle Gaon. Nice crack there. Seattle Gaon gets hit with that overhand. Able to find a home for that right hand once again. Kick to the head. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Seattle Gons. Just over two minutes, round one. Clipped him with the right hand there. Throwing that jab, no good. 
Nice defense there. Huge block. Oh, hurt. Jab by God. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a strike. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never doing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Jab there by Choi. Under a minute to go in our opening round. Body, body. Oh, great block there. Oh, the head kick lands. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, nice jab. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Oh, oh he's stuck bad. He's got to grab him. He's got to recover. So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Final seconds here of round one. Round two straight ahead. All right, take a seat for me, bud. Breathe. Deep breath in. All right, here's some water. Ready? Listen. All right. All right we're doing awesome out there. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. You ready to fight? You ready? Go. All right, round two. All right, next round is underway, and I think my biggest takeaway in the previous round, his ability to avoid shots, right? It seemed like every time his opponent loaded up, by the time the strike got there, he was out of harm's way. And it was a very minimal movement. It wasn't a big movement off the six line. The opponent threw, it was maybe two inches off to the right that allowed him to be out of position from his opponent's punch, but still in position to return a strike of his own. Got that jab working nicely done. Circling away towards the left now. Nice crack there. Guns cut above the eye. And that's been kicked out of Tom Tuck. Come on, man. Work that jab. Nice punch, man. Work, guys. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He is just outclassing this guy on the field. You have to find a way to... Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Immediately gets the underhook. Choi's got a nasty bruise started to appear on that left side. We'll keep an eye on it. Could pay dividends later. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up. Just, oh! Oh, he's got him hurting here. Oh, nice body shot. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the... Oh, he landed a flying knee to the head. Do not back up. Let's go forward now. Oh, misses with the jab. Oh, that was big left hand. Well, 
well. He continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Well, it's one thing to have length. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Right hook to the head blocked. Under two minutes now to go. Choi's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Just misses with the straight left hand. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Circling to his right. Now he lands a solid punch. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut, and now all the blood that's coming from the cut. Pretty interesting to see him mixing it up with the kicks here, some calf kicks, and now attacking the thigh effect. Just throwing the traditional leg kick. The traditional leg kick is a little higher. Everybody wants to talk about that calf kick right now. There's still a lot to be done with those traditional leg kicks. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so he survives to the stool, but he's going to need a plastic surgeon on Monday. Let us show you some of the strikes that caused that damage above the eye. Just beautiful striking on display. He found the target constantly. He opened up a big cut above the eye, and now he sees that he's got a wounded opponent in front of him. He is going to target that eye even more in this next round. Ready to fight. Ready. Third round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. That body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, punches and bunches all to the head. Beautiful combination. All right, so another nice strike by him there, and he continues to attack that cut. Pretty sage decision by him to target that area. We always talk about his fight IQ, John. We talk about his ability to recognize his advantages. That's exactly what he's doing. The moment he saw that cut, how about the accuracy land right there? His opponent's wobble chin. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. That's a right hand. Oh, nice kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh! oh, he might get finished here. Oh! Choi is blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. 
These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. Choi's left calf now starting to show signs of bruising, so the calf kicks have started to have an effect. Do not back up. Let's go. Both fighters throwing heat now. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Let's go, let's go. Keep your hands up. Keep that sharp. Try to get that uppercut off. Lands a kick there with the lead leg. Nice work by Seattle Gong. Does a great job of mixing up his strikes. Lands another leg kick. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Choice overhand punch to the head looked good for a second, but ultimately that one gets blocked. Immediately gets the underhook. Big knee lands to the body. Oh, nice jab by Seattle Gong. And now some distance as they pull it off. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Ooh. Nice crack there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the Misses with the jab. 30 seconds in the round. Oh, big overhand. He lands another punch to the head. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Nice punch, Lance. Well, at times, he's tried to check kicks, but he has not been effective in doing so, and now he's starting to limp a little bit. He's starting to limp from those leg kicks. He's showing that it's hurting. That's a, that's a big sign when you watch a fighter, because a fighter never really wants to give you anything, but he can't help himself. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality right. is when you right. can't breathe through your nose, right. you start to open your mouth. But the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you've got to really switch it up. With Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in the two rounds. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. be working towards an attritive knockout here tonight as he continues to pepper that body. Look at those numbers, bottom of your screen. That has been the most significant stat in this fight. The body strikes landed for this young man, working here towards the best performance of his UFC career. 
Choi is able to land another strike right there, right on the previously damaged nose. No surprise to see the fighter continue to attack that part of the opposition. Oh, that right eye is looking really swollen now. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Nice defense there. Big body kick. Nice crack there. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Gon's really starting to bleed out of that eye right now. It didn't look too bad earlier. Not looking good right now. Under three minutes to go in round four. Well, I can't even relate to the mental and physical toughness we are seeing from these two individuals. Both fighters damaged and compromised and yet leaning on the heart here late in the fight. Yeah, they're both leaning on the heart. They're both trying to really show. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Boom! Gone shot is blocked. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Oh, roundhouse kick lands. Oh, oh he is stunned, trying to recover here. Mixed martial arts, folks. This is absolutely crazy. Both fighters dealing with critical damage and cuts. There's blood everywhere. Fans, stand up and give applause to these two men who are landing all out on the line in the octagon tonight. Both dealing with cuts, both critical, but both unwilling to take a step back for your entertainment. Such a blow right there, he's, he's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Choi's nose is just donating blood by the second here. I'm not so sure that nose isn't broken, DC. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Khan's eye is disgusting. It is critical. I know DC has probably turned away at this point in time. They might need to call on the ringside physician pretty soon here. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. 20 seconds left. Look at his calf, bro. It looks like somebody poured a bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon on his calf and left it there all night. <laughs> it's all red and it's swelling. He's going to have some difficulties. Look, it hurts right now, but I would not want to be this guy tomorrow. Right. 20 minutes in the can, five to go. Well, what a war of attrition this fight has been. Both fighters dealing with cuts, critical damage in the facial area. Something's got to give at some point. Yeah, these are the types of fights that we love. These guys are leaking everywhere. They're both trying to finish this fight. They're very evenly matched, and you can see it in the competition, but you can also see it in the damage that they're both showing. Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over this 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows, and he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target, and his opponent opened up a nasty cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage that he's taking. You ready to fight? Ready. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. It landed purposely, and it hurt his opponent very bad. 
Gon's an absolute mess right now. There's blood everywhere. I'm not so sure they're not going to stop this fight right now. Able to check the high kick. Oh! Power shots landing on both sides. And the chins continue to hold up. All right, you see his high-level footwork here, maybe trying to set up that hook shot again, potentially. You could tell, John, he's setting a trap. He's trying to walk his opponent back into his hook side, his big power side, so he'll keep faint, not little punches, with no intent to land, just to get his opponent where he needs him to be to land that kill shot. That shot blocked by Little Gump. He is completely gassed at this stage of the fight. I'm not sure if he's lost his will to continue, but it might be time to just put that controller down and take a breather. I mean, he's gonna keep pressing those buttons as long as he can. You gotta get him out of there. He's gonna keep on butt mash. Right now, the butt mash becomes even more dangerous because he's like a Wolverine that you cornered, and now all he can do is fight to try to win. Well, this is getting hard to watch, and sometimes you hear us say a fighter is too tough for their own good. Anybody want to save this athlete, right? Yeah, this is this is a classic case of that, where a guy is just too tough. He's not going to win this fight. He may as well throw in the towel. I mean, his corner can stop it, the referee can stop it, the doctor can stop it. Somebody needs to do something because this fight is over. Three minutes now to go to decide this one. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Fantastic time tonight celebrating. They should all be very proud. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest. At three minutes, 12 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. Du Ho Choi is the name, ladies and gentlemen. A huge win for the Korean Super Bowl.